Hi, Jimmy Lenderman here, reporting live from Cable Next Gen in Denver. I'm here today with Vikram Sasuna. Saxena. Saxena. Yes. Vikram Saxena. Um, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Good. Yeah, I'm glad to be here. Yeah. Well, great. Well, Vikram, you're from NetScout. Um, can you yes. tell us a little bit about your role and what NetScout does for cable MSOs? Perfectly, yeah. Um, so, uh, you know, I'm in the CTO office in NetScout, and uh, my role primarily is to work with uh, cable companies as well as some of the wireless companies and then focus on directionally where they are going in the future, you know, and then feed it back to our product teams and our CEO in terms of strategy and how to evolve our product portfolio to meet these future requirements. So that's kind of my role. And, and how is NetScout driving DAA and a new rev revenue service opportunities? So I think DAA is a game changer mm -hmm. for the industry. You know, with pushing remote fi and fiber deeper and running digital optics and sort of analog optics, they are all an opportunity to increase bandwidth lower latency, create a highly available infrastructure. So what we feel is to unlock the power of DA, you need to think about how do you monetize this? Right. You know, what kind of services can you create? So what I'm thinking is the marriage of DA with edge computing mm -hmm. and edge computing services is the way that the future will unfold in this and give cable companies a leg up in driving their top line, not just lowering cost, but driving top line and revenue in this area. So that's where I'm helping NetScout focus. You know, we are in um, assuring services. We work at the service layer uh, more than the infrastructure layer. We also work on uh, protecting our services, the service infrastructure from attacks, DDoS attacks and so on. And as you're moving to a virtualized infrastructure with open source components, disaggregated software, they will open up new attack services for hackers to come and attack the infrastructure. Mm -hmm. So I think what cable companies uh, need to do, and we, we, would, we help them do that, is to assure and protect their service infrastructure so the user experience is, is, is very good, and that's how they will be able to monetize these new services. And how is this different than traditional rollouts of centralized uh, centralized um, architecture Architectures. versus distributed? First of all, in the centralized architecture, there was no edge computing, really. Right. You know, so, and, and, and the reason was the latency and the bandwidth were not as tight as they need to be for edge computing services. If you drive optics deeper, you're lowering latency, like we heard this morning mm -hmm. in the keynote. So. I think in the older CMTS architecture, that was really optimized for regular consumer broadband and maybe some of the services for small, medium enterprises. But now with DAA, you're unlocking the potential more for next generation services. So I think this is a game changer. And I think this will open up new opportunities to drive the top line growth in the cable industry. And, and you touched on SLAs a bit. Yes. Um, so, so how is this different from traditional architecture, DAA and um, yes. So again, I think what NetScout has been good in doing so far is we assure SLAs for voice, data, video services, the traditional bread, bread and butter services of cable companies. And we could do that from behind the CMTS, you know. But now with DAA, it opens up the last mile so we can go closer to the end user mm -hmm. in measuring and assuring SLAs, which is critical from a visibility point of view and from an SLA point of view, because when you're delivering low latency services, you can be sitting behind and measuring that. You got to be right closer to the customer. So that's how I think in DAA, SLA will be very different because the visibility and looking at service layer infrastructure needs to come closer in the last minute to the end user. So what can cable MSOs do to address these challenges? Yeah, so cable, you know, we, we are great partners with cable MSOs and they've relied on us and, uh, you know, and I think they will continue to rely on us. We intend to work closely with the cable MSOs as they are rolling out new services to help them in these monetization efforts to make sure that the services they want to deliver, whether it's cloud gaming or other kinds of services to consumers and businesses, IoT type services, that um, the SLA and protection from uh, DDoS attacks 
is, is, is rock solid. And, and that's where we help them assure and protect their infrastructure and services. And we have been good partners with them for the last two decades, and we intend to stay with them lockstep as they roll out these new services. So we are here to help them, and we work well together. So. And can you talk about any particular products or solutions that NetScout offers to help accomplish these things? Yes. So, so NetScout has, uh, you know, two suite of products. One is our visibility engine, which is where we look at the service layer, extract metadata and KPIs, um, and which really points to the performance of these services. Mm -hmm. And then we have another suite of products, which is focused on what we call DDoS protection. And this is where we are looking at you know, all the new attacks, you know, hackers are coming up with new attacks all the time. So we keep a database and a profile of all these attacks, whether they are direct path TCP flooding or reflection amplification, carpet bombing. These are all new attacks that the hackers are coming up with mm -hmm. because these networks are getting disaggregated. And so we are constantly innovating. We have the largest database in the internet of tracking all the attack vectors that are happening from hackers around the world. And we bring the power of all that infrastructure to cable companies to be able to be at the cutting edge of using these attacks to you know, prevent and mitigate them. But I think that's a good way to sum it all up. Cable operators are looking to be innovative and, yes. and evolve. Yes. And, and NetScout has some products and solutions that help to them help do them that. To help them do that, yes, yeah. yes. Wonderful. Well, thank Vikram, you. thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me and thank you so much. Thank you.